Okay, welcome to this lab on setting up a fake SMB and trying to exploit it for uh, capturing credentials. So let's go ahead and open up our terminal. Let's go ahead and get into Metasploit, msf console. And this is not a payload or a exploit, it's an auxiliary module. So something slightly different than what we've been doing before. So we're gonna use a auxiliary module. It is in server, it is in capture, it is SMB. So now that we have our auxiliary tool loaded, let's look at the options. So options. And you'll see that we have a few different types of files. We have a can enable password file, we have a John the Ripper file. And uh, in this example, we will be doing John the Ripper. So once we actually see that, we need to set our password file to a location. And how we do that is by set John PW file, and we're gonna save it to root domain hashes. And that way, the file will be named domain hashes. Now all we have to do is start the exploit. And the server should start. Once the server starts, we need to send the UNC or the path to a target to see if we can capture their uh, login. So for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna go navigate to one of my servers I'm just gonna manually type in the Kali machine. We'll be prompted for credentials. And I'm just gonna log in with student and passwords. Our credentials should fail. But what happens is on the Kali side, that it captured them. And once we capture them, we can actually end our SMB session. And once we end it, we need to start trying to break into it. Before we can break into it, we need to find out where it's at. So let's change the directory to root, so that's where they're at. Let's do an ls to see if we can find the name. Oh, and lo and behold, there is our item. Now we're gonna use John the Ripper. So we can type John file name, and that will try to break into it. And we, it tries to auto load it, and it should have already broken into them because this is a known hash. If we wanna see what the hashes look like, we can do a, a double dash and show. And there is our hashes. And that's actually it for trying to set up a fake SMB to capture passwords. Thank you.